Hey guys, it's Pixella and welcome back to another speed build. So today we are doing my first retail speed build, which is pretty exciting. So this is for Get to Work. It's not going to be in my actual Let's Play, but it is for the theme of the expansion pack. I am so in love with it. It is so much fun. Uh, it is pretty much a lot like um, uh, Open for Business in The Sims 2, which was my favorite. Favorite. So this really works out for me, but um, I wanted to do something a little bit different So something that I wasn't going to be doing in the near future in my let's plays because I'm doing a boutique in my Roosevelt let's play and I am doing a bakery slash photography studio in my uh, actual get to work let's play so I wanted to do wanted to do something uh, different and um, I don't know why can't remember honestly where I saw this I thought I think I saw like maybe a picture on like Twitter honestly it was so random because I was like okay I'm gonna I want I want to build something for get to work like I had already had the thought in my mind and I was gonna build something else I think I was gonna build just like a regular boutique or something just something along those lines which this is still a boutique basically but it's just something that I um, I would never have thought of <laughs> on my own but um, I just saw like a like a I think it was just like a bridal um a bridal store like where women would go and get their wedding dresses um but I which is what I was going to do but I um I ended up putting like I split it down the middle so one half is for women and one half is for men uh just because I wanted to do something with boys too because I haven't actually done anything with stores and with the guys so I just went ahead and put some guys in there too uh, I thought it would kind of balance it so there wasn't just because I mean there's only like two actual wedding dresses in the game you know that can pass as wedding dresses uh in my opinion anyways but um so I didn't want it to get too repetitive, so I put some guys in there too, uh, just kind of split it literally like down the middle. You'll see whenever we get into the interior. But um, I wanted to go with a black and white theme. That was actually the, how like the picture I saw it was, was like everything was black, but like um, because of that the contrast between the black colors of the walls and the furniture and like the white dresses was really really pretty. Of course like on the guy's side that they have like their black tuxedos and stuff which isn't too contrasty but um it, it still looks pretty good so I'm not too worried about it but you'll see here I put in only girls and then I was like no we're gonna put some guys in there so I have a girl and a guy in each little um window display and they are blocked off right now but I will uh I do actually go back later on and um change that I open up just like a tiny little section so that um Lysim can go in there and change their outfits and uh yeah so like halfway through the build I like stopped building <laughs> and went into um uh live mode and then put some clothes on them so I did that in like the middle ish maybe not the middle I don't know I don't remember when I did it but I did it eventually and uh, here we have like little changing rooms um on like the little corners of each side and yeah, and I cut out all the parts where I did the um, like layout of the interior and the wallpaper and the floors because let me tell you, it took me like two days. And I mean literally, it took me two days to do this. Two whole days. But um, anyways, so inside the dressing room is just like a little chair because I mean the, the actual changing rooms are not fully functional at all by, by any means, but they just look nice. So I put them in because I think it would be kind of because like, well, I don't know, because like when you see like a bridal store or at least what I've seen, I don't think I've actually ever been in one. But um, it, from what I've seen, they always have like this one spot where like the, the bride will go and stand and look in this giant mirror of herself and it's like circular. Do you know what I'm talking about? But um, it looks like that. But obviously, I don't know if that's I don't know if that's possible in The Sims 4. I do not think so. They like can't look in a mirror and like. Well, I mean, I guess they could, right? Can they check themselves out in the mirror? I forget. <laughs> I forget. But I went a little crazy on the crystals because I forget that you can use them. And they're beautiful. But I used a lot of them because I, I like, in my mind was thinking, like, um, crystals as in, like, a ring? 
like a, like a diamond ring. I mean, of course, I don't know if people get crystal rings. I've never heard of that before, but it looks really, really pretty. And it just, I don't know, makes it look so like expensive. I don't know. Like I, mo I would imagine a bridal store would be expensive uh, because those are wedding dresses. Wedding dresses usually run in the, in the the higher price ranges from what I've heard. I haven't purchased one myself, but um, yeah, that's what, that's what I was kind of going for. It was just maybe a little bit more expensive, but I went a little crazy, I gotta admit. Um, and then a lot of the times, because I was using um, move objects, a lot of the actual objects got deleted, so I had to go back and rearrange them. So if something is different in the final product uh, from what it is when you see it on this video, that's why it shouldn't be anything huge. There were just little minor changes, but um, yeah. So I did like a little ombre effect here with the flowers and um, yeah, so that little rug on the bottom I actually ended up changing to just this like really shiny flooring that I'm like in love with right now. So uh, you'll see that later, but I found these like, I think they're supposed to be stolen necklaces or something, but they looked so good. They looked so good. I wish there was more jewelry like that, like the stolen quote unquote <laughs> stolen jewelry. Um, like I wish there was like bracelets or rings or something but yep that's all we had so I used it and then uh, util oh, wow words utilizing the space underneath the table here I wanted to put something underneath there so it wasn't so empty uh, because it is a pretty tall table but I just put like a little box of clutter and some shoes because I was like we need shoes in here we need shoes but um, if you'll notice I did put a lot of like um, beauty products like uh, soapy type things or like uh, you see like those baskets of products and stuff. I did put a lot of those just because I, I would imagine like since we can't have like just wedding dress galore or clothes galore in the store since there's no like clothing racks or anything which I'm still kind of like wondering why that's why that's not here. Uh, I just put some like uh, beauty products instead and for the guys too I did I did something like that as well. But then I did the um, buy debug cheat which is the show hidden objects cheat and there were like these those are like the wedding rings that your, your sims wear but I just made them huge and put them down as kind of like decorations and I thought was like oh yeah sweet. I thought it was so so awesome that I finally found something that had to do with weddings and uh, then I found those little wedding cake decals that I put on the uh, walls. So I was really excited to find those because I was like, oh yeah, there's something that represents a wedding. But um, here's on the men's side. Oh, you can see I, I put the clothes on them. I don't even know when that happened. I wasn't paying attention. But um, yeah, on the men's side, um, they look, those outfits look really, really similar when you're looking um, like far away. But you can see the one on the left is like maybe a little more stylish. I don't know. It's kind of like that really like a uh, fluffy, swirly kind of like re uh, like white undershirt rather than like the regular just tuxedo. Does that make any sense? I'm sorry. I'm not a man. I I don't know what men what men's clothes <laughs> are like named. <laughs> so I apologize, but um yeah. You can just see it. But anyways, so the upstairs only consists of some bathrooms and like a little break area for your employees. So it has like a little fridge and then I put in a little bit a little bit no just a little table and uh, yeah just like a little place for your sims to uh, just chill if they're working on the job so I thought that was pretty nice because um, I have I haven't played with um, a lot of the careers yet I've only played with the doctor career and they have like a little break room which is kind of what I wanted but I didn't really like want to make another room I just wasn't feeling it so that's the little fridge there they do have to buy their food there so that I got the right one I was looking for the right fridge and then I put a little uh, little table right there for them to eat at and then there's like some little places to sit and uh, yeah then putting down that flooring again I love that flooring but I made like a little diagonal shape because I was feeling crazy <laughs> but um that is pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed this and here are the pictures for your eyeballs to view and yeah so leave any suggestions for any future speed builds that you would like to see retail or not and uh, I will check it out I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all in the next one bye guys